With many schools around the region starting back with virtual classes this year, some families are finding it a struggle to provide adequate internet access in their households. To help assist with this situation, Pikeville has decided to increase the speed of their free Wi-Fi access provided around the city. I met with City of Pikeville Mayor Jimmy Carter to discuss more about this internet speed increase. What the city's trying to do at this point is to up our broadband width in several locations in downtown areas so these students that maybe not have access to the internet at home, they can come to the city park, uh, the Appalachian Wireless Arena uh, Plaza, and the parking lot. You can pull in there with your vehicle uh, and sit out on the plaza if you'd like. Uh, and if you have inclement weather, then what we can do then is we've we've gotten with the arena, they're gonna open the doors and they'll be there. I think their hours are like nine to five. Uh, and then you can go in there, they're gonna set tables up in the lobby and you'll be able to connect right there inside. Uh, social distancing and wearing masks, we're gonna ask everyone to do that. Even if you're outside, you know, keep your social distance um, and, and, and your mask as well. Mayor Carter says that the city has been working with Pikeville Housing Authority Director Jim Hobbs to provide internet access in their community centers around Pikeville. Pikeville Housing Authority is stepping up as well uh, for these kids and so if they don't have the opportunity to be able to, to click online they're going to be able to. You know we're there to help and we want to help so I uh, talked to the new superintendent Mr. Trimble last week and he was tickled to death that we're, we're doing this new initiative with the Housing Authority and the city. So they're, they're very on board and they're wanting to do whatever they can do to help as well. So it's just, it's just a team effort. Reporting from City Hall in Pikeville, Kentucky, I'm Jeremy Justice with Mountaintop News.